Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily, June 24th, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thoughts for the day. Friendship. Carry this message to other alcoholics. You can help when no one else can. You can secure the confidence when others fail. Remember, they are very ill. Life will take on a new meaning. To watch people recover, to see them help others, to watch loneliness vanish, to see a fellowship grow up around you, to have a host of friends, this is an experience you must not miss. Frequent contact with newcomers and with each other is the bright spot of our lives. 1976, Alcoholics Anonymous World Service, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 89. Thought to consider. I keep my sobriety by giving it away. Acronyms. Care. Comfort and reassuring each other. Just for today. Progress. Step 6. We're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. If we ask, God will certainly forgive our derelictions. But in no case does he render us white as snow and keep us on that way without our cooperation. That is something we are supposed to be willing to work towards ourselves. He asks only that we try, as best we know how, to make progress in the building of character. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 65. Daily Reflections, a Spiritual Kindergarten. We are only operating a spiritual kindergarten in which people are enabled to get over drinking and find the grace to go on living to better effect, as Bill sees it, page 95. When I came to AA, I was run down by the bottle and wanted to lose the obsession to drink. But I didn't really know how to do that. I decided to stick around long enough to find out from the ones who went before me. All of a sudden, I was thinking about God. I was told to get a higher power and I had no idea what one looked like. I found out there are many higher powers. I was told to find God as I understand him, that there is no doctrine of the Godhead in AA. I found that worked for me and then asked that higher power to restore me to sanity. The obsession to drink was removed, and one day at a time, my life went on, and I learned how to live sober. As Bill sees it, aspects of tolerance. All kinds of people have found their way into AA. Not too long ago, I sat talking in my office with a member who bears the title of Countess. That same night, I went to an AA meeting. It was winter, and there was a mild-looking gent taking the coats. I said, Who's that? And somebody answered, Oh, he's been around for a long time. Everybody likes him. He used to be one of Al Capone's mob. That's how universal he is today. We have no desire to convince anyone that there is only one way by which faith can be acquired. All of us, whatever our race, creed or colour, are the children of living creator, with whom we may form a relationship upon simple, understandable terms as soon as we are willing and honest enough to try. That's from A Comes of Age, page 102, and Alcoholics Anonymous, page 28. Big Book Quote When we became alcoholics crossed by a self-imposed crisis, we could not postpone or evade. We had fearless faced the proposition that either God is everything or else he is nothing. God either is or he isn't. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, We Agnostics, page 53. 24 hours a day. A Thought for the Day. Alcohol is our weakness. We suffer from mental conflicts from which we look for escape by drowning our problems in drink. We try through drink to push away from the realities of life. But alcohol alcohol does not feed. Alcohol does not build. It only borrows from the future and it ultimately destroys. We try to drown our feelings in order to escape life's realities. Little realising or caring that in continued drinking we are only multiplying our problems. Have I got control of my unstable emotions? Meditation for the day. When I let personal peaks and resentments interfere with what I know to be my proper conduct, I am on the wrong track and I am undoing all I have built up by doing the right thing. I must never let personal peaks interfere with living the way I know God wants me to live. When I have no clear guidance from God, I must go forward quietly along the path of duty. The attitude of quiet faith will receive its rewards as surely as acting upon God's direct guidance. I must not weaken my spiritual power by letting personal peaks upset me. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not let myself become too upset. 
I pray that I may go quietly along the path I have chosen. From Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.